on behalf of EFDD, uh, Mr. Button. President, um, now the European Union itself has created serious security problems because of its open borders policy, and these uh, problems became all the more obvious after the accession of uh, the Eastern European countries in 2004. Even the head of Europol, Rob Rain Wainwright, has said that Schengen uh, not only facilitates the freedom of movement of people, but the freedom of movement of organised crime and criminals. Now, to try and fix the problems and restore some kind of stability, the first step should be to abolish the Schengen area. The only real solution is to restore the control of borders to nation states. They all have different challenges and they have to approach their particular problems in their own way. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the waiting times at borders are going to be longer in some countries than others. Now, regarding what databases are required to help with border controls, then of course the authorities need the fullest possible information on police records, identity, documents, fingerprints and criminal intelligence, etc. Uh, we do, what we do not need is the EU's own databases, such as the Schengen Information System, working under Cyrene. Now, Cyrene is um, a police organisation and is part of the EU's own developing police force. These organisations duplicate the work of Interpol and are unnecessary. Interpol already has at least 12 databases which are at the disposal of nation states. These databases cover a range of information regarding DNA and fingerprints for criminals and missing persons, stolen and missing documents, and, the count and counterfeiting uh, to name just a few of many. The framework for increasing international cooperation in this sphere is Interpol and not EU organisations. When Britain leaves the European Union, which I hope will come sooner rather than later, then it should withdraw from Europol and Cyrene and be at the forefront of increasing international cooperation via Interpol.